guys in this video I'm going to show you how to configure uh, Cisco SD-WAN URL filtering this is my lab setup I have this uh, CH4 which is running Cisco iOS XE SD-WAN image it has got one interface towards MPLS and uh, another interface uh, towards internet I have enabled the internet access uh, using the direct internet uh, access method so it has got uh, two uh, LAN interfaces under uh, same VPN 10 192.168.6.1 uh, in the left side and uh, 192.168.60.1 subnet on the right side uh, before we start configuring the uh, security uh, firewall features in Cisco SD-WAN we have to download this uh, uh, unified thread a defense engine for iOS XE SD-WAN. It's a 50 MP file. We have to download this and uh, upload to our uh, vManage under maintenance. We have this software repository. Click on this virtual images. Click on upload virtual images. Click on vManage and browse and then upload the image. I have already uploaded that. You can see here. You can see this uh, unified threat defense uh, um, application I already uploaded. Also, uh, let's go to the templates. Uh, the CH4 should be attached to a device template because the security policy that we are going to configure, we are going to edit and attach in the uh, device template. Also, let's make sure uh, the machines that we have in our uh, LAN have the internet access. Uh, in the left side, I have this 1 into 1 state 6.4. Uh, this one, let's ping the, any public IP and then confirm it. And in the right side, I have this 1 into 1 state 60.10. Let's verify that. You can see this IP. Let's verify I have the internet access. I'm able to ping and uh, I, mean, I should be able to open uh, let's say a miniclip.com a gaming website yeah it's opening now let's configure a, a security policy for URL filtering let's go to configuration securities so I already have a, a policy that is configured uh, for uh, intrusion prevention system I'm going to edit that you can say uh, this IPS policy is already there so in this video I'm going to show you how to configure the URL filtering so let's click on this URL filtering add URL filtering policy create a new one the target VPN I have only one VPN in the lab that is VPN 10 I'm entering that policy name I'm just giving Siva iPhone URL filtering so let's uh, block some of the website uh, based on the website categories uh, you can see this option here when you click there are many options here uh, let's go to the search button and then let's block the games click on this checkbox it will get added and again under search Let's block uh, job search portals like so it's got added again. Let's block uh, adult uh, contents like adult and pornography. And also news, news and media. So you can see uh, games, job search, adult and pornography, news and media. These are the four web category I'm going to block repetition you can select uh, whatever you want I'm gi giving moderate risk and uh, there is an option advanced so when I click on advanced you get option for uh, whitelist the URL and blacklist and there is an option called uh, block page server so when the by default uh, this block page content is enabled and uh, when the website is getting blocked you will get this message access to the requested page has been denied and uh, 
we can type our own content here um, like uh, I'm just typing this website blog I'm just given uh, this website blog contact at net admin so this uh, message will pop up when you open the website and getting blocked there is another option to redirect the URL if you have your own um, uh, URL some HTML file if you want to uh, to display instead of this message that also you can um, give select this your redirect URL and then enter that uh, URL here So I'm going to save this. So I'm going to save and then push it to this device. So we can see uh, the well filtering uh, URL profile. Uh, it is categorizing uh, games, job search, adult and pornography, news and media. These categories are getting blocked. I'm going to click on configure devices. So the validation is success. It's uh, pushing the configuration now. Now the configuration is successfully pushed. Uh, this time it was not uh, pushing any uh, LXE image uh, into your device because in my previous video I have shown you, um, you know, when I configured the IPS uh, security policy, it was pushing. When you are attaching the uh, the security policy for the first time, uh, that image will get pushed from the VMAGE to your CH. Now let's uh, go to our. Uh, these machines and check whether this whatever the uh, uh, website categories that we have blocked is getting blocked properly or not. In the left side I have my machine 192.168.6.4 and in the right side I have uh, a 6 lock server. I have made my uh, Ubuntu machine 192.168.10 as a Ubuntu server. So this machine in the right side is working as a, a 6 lock server that we have uh, configured in our URL filtering policy. If you want to know how to configure, um, uh, you know, Ubuntu machine as a syslog server, I have made a separate video about that. Uh, I have given that link in the description. You can check that. So I'm going to start monitoring the syslog messages uh, in the right side. So in the left side, I have another machine. I'm going to open. Uh, let's say we are blocking uh, the news and media category. So let's say I open BBC.com. You can see uh, it throws a message that access to the requester's page has been denied. This website blocked contact net admin. The second line is nothing but that I have entered in the URL um, filtering policy. And also in the right side, you can see uh, we have a log message. It says that uh, URL bbc.com is dropped and uh, it is come category, it's showing uh, news and media. And this request is coming from the source IP address 192.168.6.4, which is this IP. Now let's try one more web category that we are blocking. I'm opening a new private window. So we are uh, also blocking uh, some job search category. So let's open nokri.com. And you can see again, uh, it's getting blocked and we can see a hit here in the syslog server that URL nokri.com is getting dropped and that is coming from our uh, source IP 6.4 and this is categorized as job search. Okay, now let's open some website that uh, which we are not blocking like uh, youtube.com. So you can see uh, youtube.com is opening. Let me open gmail.com. So the other uh, website categories that we are not blocking, it's opening without any issues. So 
So let me open uh, adult and pornography also we are blocking. Let me open this porn.com. Okay, you can see still uh, this category is also getting blocked because it is categorized as uh, adult and pornography. So the URL filtering policy that we have configured is working uh, perfectly. So whatever the website categories that we are blocking like uh, adult and pornography and uh, also this job search and we also blocked uh, this news and media. So those uh, websites uh, you know uh, will be blocked and uh, like uh, other websites like uh, Gmail and YouTube you can see we can refresh and it is opening. We can also verify that in our uh, vManage under monitoring networks select our CH4 and under security monitoring click on URL filtering and you can see all these uh, website categories that we are blocking that hit count we can see here news and media job search game the session count you can see here that's the procedure how you can configure uh, Cisco SD-WAN uh, URL filtering in your uh, CH router the first step is to uh, we should have that um, uh, unified threat defense uh, software to be uploaded in your vManage before we configure the security policy and apply it to your uh, CH and uh, the CH should be attached to a device template and uh, the CH should have internet access either through a centralized uh, internet access method or to uh, the DIA direct internet access if you want to know how to attach uh, the CH into a device template and also how to configure a direct internet access on CH you can watch my uh, previous videos in the playlist also I have given the links uh, for those videos in the description you can check that and thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you will get update uh, when I upload some new videos have a nice day